Take the bass line out. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Bam. You know, when I when I was growing up playing club, uh, when I was like 15, 16, 17, I, 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 I was a good player, but you know, not great. I wasn't recruited by all these coaches, but uh, I always felt I could play. And then when I came here and then I played with the club team here, I used USB and I, I played well there, so I thought I could jump up. And what not? I'm from the school of the hard knocks. We must not let outsiders violate our blocks. And my block, the stick of the world. Club team experience was amazing. Um, it was great. Uh, I wouldn't trade that for anything. Um, it, it really helped me, you know, f you know, build confidence. And it gave me a chance to, you know, work on what I needed to work on. I, I knew I had flaws in my game, and it really gave me a chance to, to work on those things and, and get better um, in, in an easier, you know, environment. You know, most players, you know, they're going to start out on the bench. They're not going to walk in right away and have a huge impact. Um, for me, you know, I didn't, yeah, I didn't play at all my first year until, until uh, we played down at Northridge. And I think Tim, you know, he knew that I'm from Northridge, I know their players, I know their coach, so he gave me a chance. He put me in and I actually played really well. Um, I, I subbed in at outside back and I had a great game. And then from there on, I started against University of Washington in the second round of playoffs here. I uh, had another great game and got the start against Ohio State, at Ohio State. So that kind of jump-started my whole, I guess, you know, playing career here. And then, you know, I just took that confidence into the next season. And, you know, I started a couple games here and there, came off the bench, and, you know, I, I played in most games. Um, and I was, you know, either, you know, first or second off the bench. And then from that, you know, just, you know, you, you take the confidence all the way through, and, and now I'm, I'm starting. Uh -huh. Basically, like you said, you know, I'll, I'll play wherever Tim needs me. Um, if he needs me to play in the back for certain games, I'll, I'll do that. If he needs me to man mark someone, I'll do that. Um, and basically, it's just you know putting putting the team in front of yourself. Um, you, you can't you can't be set in your ways. If, you know, if you want to play forward and, and you need to be in the back, you know, it's it's better for the team. So basically, I'm gonna I'm gonna do whatever's best for the team. Um, with such a young team, you know, we need leadership. As one of the few older guys, we've just got to, you know, just set the tone early on in the season that, you know, of the way of the way things are going to be done and, and just, you know, instill like a hard work rate and just uh, kind of lead by example. You know, I'm not, I'm not the most vocal guy out there, um, even though sometimes I should be. I'm just going to try and lead by example and by my work rate and the guys look up to me and Walker and Martin and they, they follow us. It's been amazing. I actually, since I walked on, I, I have kind of the experience as, you know, non-Division One athlete and a Division One athlete. So I love it. Um, you know, just kind of, especially on the soccer team. You know, people, people, some people do recognize you, and it's 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 cool. Take the baseline out.